The following documentary is for non-profit awareness of the homeless situation within Britain. My name's Christina, um, I work in student services at this college. It was a charity called the Booth Centre, which is a community homeless shelter in the centre of Manchester. Um, and it was in aid of raising money um, to support the things that that charity does. So I think it mainly operates as a day centre, where homeless people can go in, they have showers, um, hot food is available, um, but they also can access advice and guidance and legal advice um, in terms of finding work and getting off the streets. Um, there's, I think they also work with lots of other agencies in terms of supporting the issues that homeless people have as well. So it could be that they're having drug and alcohol abuse problems, it could be family problems. So it's about making sure that that person is treated as an individual, meeting those needs first and then helping them, supporting them back into tenancy. Well, I've worked with homeless people for about six years. Um, I used to live in Lancaster and I used to volunteer at the homeless shelter one morning a week. Um, and then they also have a thing at Christmas called the Christmas Night Shelter, which means they set up a permanent shelter from Christmas Eve to New Year's Eve. Um, so the homeless in the community can go, come and have somewhere to sleep and eat every day for a week. And I tended to get involved with that every Christmas as well. I think the main reason I became involved with it was when I was in my gap year at university and I was um, volunteering in Manchester. Um, we did outreach and we would go and with a backpack with hot chocolate and sandwiches and, and coffee and tea. And we would just find we would just approach people we could see on the street and say, "Would you like a hot drink?" And then. The, the people that we were coming across all had such different stories to tell about. They wanted to tell you their story, why they were homeless, what had happened to them. Um, and they were so touched by the fact that the people showed enough kindness to actually um, come and have that conversation with them. Um, and I became quite passionate about the issues ever since because I think we often see the homeless as a bit of a homogenous group. They're all the same, they all have the same problems, and that's not the case at all. It was, uh, the Booth Centre is attached to Manchester Cathedral, so we slept um, in the Cathedral Gardens. It's very dramatically different um, when you know that, I mean, this isn't the first time I slept outside to raise money for, for a homeless shelter. I did it in Lancaster as well. Um, and the times of year and the weather was completely different. And it was interesting to compare the two. So like when I did it in Lancaster, which was about um, three years ago, um, it was August bank holiday weekend. So it, the weather was really crisp and beautiful during the day, the sun was out, but the clear skies at night meant that it got really cold because there, no, there were no clouds. Um, and I remember waking up with a numb face. I couldn't feel my face. <laughs> um, this time, um, it wasn't cold, the weather was actually, the, the temperature was okay, but because of the wet, um, it just got straight into you and then that made you cold. And I think I was at risk of getting a little bit ill at one point. Um, and knowing that there's nowhere else to go, that you have to stick it out um, and you can't just go and huddle somewhere. Um, yeah, it's very different to everyday life when, you know, if you're cold, you can put a new jumper on. All of my, I did have a spare change of clothes and they all got wet as well. 
I do think it's a position that anyone can find themselves in and we can too easily fall into this false sense of security where it will, will it never happen to me and it could I mean I, I'm very aware that if I fell into a position where you know before I came here and I got this permanent job I had hourly paid jobs where work isn't reliable and I knew that if I'd if I was wasn't offered work I would very quickly lose the money I needed to pay rent which very mean that quickly mean that I would become homeless and that I'm very lucky that I've got a supportive family that would take me in if I needed them but not all people have that um, and we are very fragile every single one of us is at risk of becoming homeless at some point in our lives if we if we're not careful if we don't have the right look if we fall into the into the wrong circumstances so i think it's important to make people aware that it could be any of us and i think that's one of the reasons that i i support homelessness um, and, I, and i'm really quite passionate about it no no um, in fact, the less and less is being done. Um, in the shelter I volunteered at in Lancaster, um, they were having their funding cut every year centrally by the government. Um, and the argument by, by the government and, and local politicians was that oh, we're going to plough that money into homelessness prevention schemes. So we're going to try and stop people from getting to the point where they'll become homeless. But if you do that and you take away the really vital provision that just a centre that provides a hot meal and someone to talk to, you're taking away that um, lifeline, that connection to, to wider society for homeless people. Say hello to a homeless person. And I know it's really, um, it's really difficult for people to kind of do that because what people are scared of, I think, is that they're going to be asked for money. And they will. Generally, nine times out of ten, if you say hello to a homeless person or if they, they reach out to you, they're asking for money. So just saying hello to them I'll maybe, and just saying, I'm, and I often say, I'm really sorry, I haven't got anything for you. Um, but just by turning around to them and, say, and saying that and acknowledging that they've said something to you and that they're there, they always say, it's not a problem, thank you. Um, and I think they just, it's just acknowledging their humanity and that's one of the most important things you can do.